Design advice. This is the final section inside the design part of this course. And we're going to explore a number of different areas. You can see them listed here uh, to offer what hopefully will be useful advice, practical advice that you can then use and apply inside your designs. So what will we look at? Well, we'll start off first of all exploring how we can reduce work and eliminate excise and practical tips for doing that. And this ties into things that we've highlighted all the way through the course about the need to make things cognitively as straightforward and as easy as possible for our users. We want to make things as easy as possible. We don't want to burden our users. We want to make it as, as effortless as we possibly can. So we'll explore some practical advice that will help us um, identify excise, things that we don't need to do, things that we can cut and get rid of, but it won't actually affect our goals in terms of what we want to accomplish. In fact, it will enhance and enable us to better achieve those goals. We'll then go on to look at undo and redo, which may seem sort of very boring, but they're incredibly powerful features. And we'll explore the notion of, of a reversible history in a little bit more detail and, and think about how this helps both provide encouragement to the user to try new things out and also builds confidence that if in the in the application, in the software, that if they do something and it's not what they want, they can go back safely. It's incredibly powerful, incredibly important to appropriately build in um, a reversible history into our applications where that's possible, where that makes sense. We'll then go on to look at supporting scanning. First of all, starting off looking at visual hierarchies. And again, this ties into things we've talked about to make it easy for the user to be able to, to look at a screen and understand visually what is the structure inherent in that to be able to parse through, to locate elements, to, to navigate through that screen. And we'll look at some practical advice that will help us more easily do that. We'll then go on to look at text more generally. And we'll consider a wide range of things here. One is actually related to, to scanning and hierarchy, about how do we position and set out our text so that it makes it easier for the user to, to glance to understand the structure. But we'll also then think about how we express it, the words that we use, the right form of words, how we can cut text that we don't actually need. So they're going to be the topics that we'll explore. We'll start off first of all having a look at how we can reduce work and eliminate excise.